Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Golf Victor. The time is 6.09 p.m. on October 26th, 2013. <clears throat> that is Mountain Daylight Time from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. About 10 minutes ago, that would be 0001 UTC on the 27th of October 2013. I worked JR6AWQ on this frequency. In fact, that's him right now. <clears throat> He's weaker than he was when I worked him. He was about S5 on that meter when I worked him, which would make me give him an S6 or S7 report. I ran 10 watts into a mismatched vertical antenna, the terrible SWR at the feed point, probably something on the order of 7 to 1. 10 watts output from the transmitter, I'd be lucky to get 5 actually radiating from the antenna. But it is a good sized antenna and it did go over the hill. It had a lot of things working against it. Uh, had to go over the hill. Uh, had to use low power. I refuse to run more than 10 watts. I guess though a hardcore QRP operator would run 5 watts or less. One of the neat things about running such low power is you do not have to be concerned about radio frequency electromagnetic exposure criteria, <clears throat> which technically they will impose on you if you run higher power. You have to be, uh, you have to be vigilant about that. I, I'm skeptical as to how much ill effect there actually is from such things, but uh, at 10 watts or less, and as far away from the antenna as I am, I don't have to worry, legally or physically. At least, I, I don't worry about it, let's put it that way. Well, this band is open, even though, uh, look, you're not hearing much on here. I don't know about the single sideband portion, but I do know one thing. It's always a blast to go down to the Chaos Band. I'm going to go somewhere else with <laughs> You put a beam in there, and I'm just going to go somewhere else. See, now that's part of the problem. Look. There's a signal coming in perfectly well, and another one comes in on just a little bit of a different frequency. He's stronger. The heterodyne just drowns him out. That's why I have I have found uh, the CB radio in old number seven, my venerable truck, to be essentially useless. So let's go down here. 24 megahertz. JR2, that's Japan. The JR6, by the way, that I worked on 10 meter CW, I was also in Japan in a city called Miyazaki, and his name was Kyo, K Y O. He had a lot of trouble copying me, but I just slowed my speed way down to about 12 words a minute. And he managed. <clears throat> well, of course, we're going to expect to hear signals on these bands if, if people are taking advantage of them. Because uh, if, if 10 meters is open, CQDX, well, hurry up and identify yourself already, will you? N7. He's in the United States. He wants DX. That means not, <clears throat> not me. He wants somebody in a foreign country. That's generally what DX means. 
Well, there's some good signals up there. Um, digital emissions. Digital emissions. Now, we would expect this band to be working pretty good. But I'm not hearing anybody. Well, here's where we're going to hear a lot of people, I should think. Right there. 20 meter uh, digital zone, the PSK phase shift keying zone, <clears throat> technically from about 14.070 to 14.073 megahertz. I usually tune a little bit down so that it'll come in, the signals will come in at a higher audio pitch. That way, when I transmit at a higher audio pitch, there's less likely of an audio uh, of an audio harmonic producing a double signal in my output if it's at least 1500 hertz. That's just one of the little tricks of PSK and other digital modes in a transceiver that you're sticking audio into the microphone input of a single sideband transmitter. You don't want that second harmonic to come out and give you a double signal, so if you put it below 1.5 uh, kilohertz the internal filter of your transceiver will cut off those harmonics. So you can go put in your tones between 1.5 and about 2.7 kilohertz. But we should expect to hear a lot of signals here. And indeed we do. So that'll be it. All the bands once again are open here Saturday evening in uh, the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV Whiskey, 1 Golf Victor, saying 73 and so long.